In this lesson, we are going to talk about the properties of determinants related to row operations. Okay. So in this case, we're going to let A and B each be square matrices. Um, the reason they're square is because uh, that's the, they, they, uh, you can only find determinants of square matrices. And you want those matrices to be the same size for compatibility purposes. And we're going to let K be a real number. Okay. In other words, let K be a scalar value. Okay. So the first property says that if a multiple of one row of A is added to, added to produce a matrix B, then the determinant of A is the same as the determinant of B. Okay. So all this says is that if you take a multiple of one row and add it to another row, the new matrix that you end up get that you end up getting has the same determinant as the original matrix. Okay, so okay, so as an example, okay, let let A be equal to one, two, three, four. Okay, and then let's calculate. Okay, uh, let's calculate the determinant of this matrix. Okay, that's going to be uh, 1 times 4 minus 3 times 2. So that's going to give us 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. Okay, so for the row operation, um, let's do, let's take um, minus, let's see, Let's do two times row one and add that to row two and then store the result in row two. So we end up getting a new matrix. Let's call it B. So that's going to give us one, two. This is going to be five and eight. Okay. So now the determinant of B. going to be so that's going to be 8 minus 10 so that's going to give us minus 2 so that's the same as the uh, determinant of a okay so the so again adding a multiple or taking a multiple one row and adding it to another will not affect the original will not affect the determinant of the original matrix okay all right, second property says that if you interchange two rows to produce a new matrix that's called B, then that's going then the determinant B will be equal to the to the negative of the determinant A matrix. Okay. So again, let A let's let's use the same matrix that we did for property 1. So let A be one, two, three, four. Okay. And let's interchange row one and row two. So that's going to give us a new matrix. Okay, let's call that, we're going to call that B, three, four. Okay, so three, four. One, two. <clears throat> okay, so again, the determinant of this matrix is, again, that's just negative two. Okay. The determinant of B is going to be six minus four. So that's going to give us two. So you can see that uh, the determinant of A and the determinant of B differ by a sign value. Okay, so interchanging rows, okay, doing one, right, interchanging two rows doesn't aff or affects the determinant by a negative value. But if you do, if you do an even number of of interchanges, then the determinant of the new matrix will equal to the determinant of the old of the original matrix. Okay, so even interchanges doesn't affect, but odd, the odd number, right? Odd odd number of interchanges will change it by a negative value. Okay, the third one. Okay, the third property is if one row of A is multiplied by K to produce B, then the determinant of B is equal to uh, whatever um, whatever 
scalar you multiply by a it's going to be it's going to be that that value of k multiplied by the determinant of a so for example let's say you again let a be One, two, three, four. Okay. And let's uh, multiply the, th the row one. Let's multiply row one by three. So you're going to get three times row one, and that's going to replace row one. So that will give us B. Okay, so B is going to be three, six, three, four. So again, the determinant of A is minus two. The determinant of B is going to be 12, so minus 18. And that's gonna give us negative six, okay? So you can see that to get right to, to get the determinant B, we have to multiply the determinant of A by three. Okay. So basically, we have right, the determinant of B is just equal to three times the determinant of A, and that's going to be three times minus two, which gives us negative six. Okay, so we can also think of this, okay, this algebraically, this is the same as um, having 1 over k times the determinant of b, sorry, okay. equals to determinant of a, okay. All right. So these are these three properties are useful uh, because we can actually use these to find the determinant of the of, a, of original matrix. Okay, because the idea then is if you have a matrix and then you go through these row operations and you put the matrix in upper triangular form, then you can whatever you get from there, right? So if you have an upper triangular matrix, you multiply the you multiply the entries along the main diagonal, and then you go back. And you look at to see which row operations you used, and you can use those to actually find the determinant of the original matrix. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to do an example of this in the next lesson.